morning, green and emerald classes. We are doing our maths today. We've got our arithmetic already for you with SpongeBob, who's doing a beautiful little rainbow for us. And we've got eights in the bronze. Uh, we're taking away a, a specific amount, 33. But if you look at the pattern, see if you can spot a pattern in what's happening with the number it's being taken away from, and you might be able to reproduce that pattern in the answers. And for gold, you're going to be doing some balancing uh, number sentences or equations using uh, equals, uh, less than and greater than symbols to make one side balance with the other. Okay, so get ready to um, pause the video so that you can get those done. And then we'll restart with the answers. Okay, so here's the answers coming up now for you. Got the eights and you can see that they're jumping up in those step, you can step counting eights here. Um, don't forget as well, we did um, some adding and taking away nines the other day where we added 10, took away one, and we took away 10, added one. Um, and for these eights, you can see if you can, can do the same sort of thing and add on 10 to the last answer and take away two and see if that works. And your gold as well there to check, okay? And with these, you can see that it was going up in threes on that side. And then because this is this stays constant, the same, same, um, same number being taken away, then the, uh, the, the steps remain that constant, uh, re remain constant as well. Okay, so we're moving on to starter now. We've got true or false. So we're looking at this jug here, and it says there are there is three hundred milliliters of liquid in this jug. There's three hundred milliliters of liquid in the jug. Is that true or false? And you can put write that down um, in your book. Just write down true or false. And then um, the next part of the question says the capacity and volume here are the same. Is that true or false? And you can see the t it's got to the top of its scale. So when it's hit the maximum amount that can fit in, then that's the capacity. So are, is the capacity and the volume the same? Is that true or false? I'm going to put the answer up. So there is 300 millilitres of liquid in the jug because we've got 50. This first jump is to 50, so you know they're all in 50s. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. And then the capacity is 300. And then the volume that's in that jug is exactly the same. So there are times if you've got a very full up uh, jug or a cup, that the capacity is the same as the volume. So when Mrs. Ludlow has her big cup of tea and it's really high up because she likes a lot of tea, then I can say my volume matches my capacity today until I drink some and then it's gonna be less. Okay, so um, we're going to be looking at the the cool um, starter now and you can fill this in if you're, if you're in class and you're uh, you can uh, have a look at that if you're not and then you can do uh, have a look at the jugs to see whether they're empty which one's empty which one's full which one's half full and you should be able to match those jugs to the labels and here's the answer now that is the full one this is the empty one and this one is half full or half empty whichever way you like to think of it so we're going to talk now, and this question is um, based on a sort of a practical maths um, activity, and it's um, how can we use an empty bottle? So imagine we have another empty bottle, and a 100 millilitres be beaker or bottle to measure the capacity of each of these containers. So we've got these three containers here and we want to see whether or want to know whether or not we can find their capacity just using an empty bottle, some water 
and a 100 milliliter be beaker or a bottle or something that can measure out 100 milliliters so have a think about that one and have a little talk how could you do that and what does capacity mean so we should really have a good idea at the amount of, sort of times we've covered that in the last you know the last few days since we've been doing this we should have a really good idea about this now okay and we should know that the amount of liquid a container can hold is its capacity so just as mr dodo says you know my cup of tea if it's filled right up to the top it's at capacity you've got people standing you've got 70 capacity on a bus that means that you can only have 70 customers if you've got 70 people on the bus it's at full capacity okay so by adding a hundred milliliters of water to an empty bottle and marking that water level you can make your own measuring bottle and you can see with this little picture here it's very small um, but it's a photograph I've taken off a video I have made a video for you it's a practical maths video um, in addition to this one today so there's two and I'd go through um, I, I make my own measuring bottle and you can follow um, doing that at home okay um, I did do it at home and I don't you know I, I was using what I had um, and it wasn't perfect but it was it worked okay and um, so I had a little 100 milliliters bottle of um, uh, sanitizer like hand sanitizer spray and um, I filled it up with water and I added that to the bigger empty bottle and when I added the water in I then made a line to the top of that water level so then I knew that, that was 100 millilitres and then I repeated it I then added another um, another I filled up another little bottle same bottle filled it up with water again added it into the bigger bottle marked off the where the top of the water was and then I put 200 millilitres in exactly the same poured it in 300 millilitres and so on until I got to 500 because I knew I couldn't get to a thousand with that bottle because it was only 750 um, millilitres it was a uh, I think it was, it was a window cleaning spray that I finished using today so um, it, I got it up to 500 okay by doing exactly the same on the video so once I'd done that I then filled up the other containers and I poured that into my measuring bottle okay and you can see on here that this uh, little one here this it was a sandwich filler pot that was 300 millilitres and the shower gel that was 400 millilitres and the capacity of the J2O bottle right to the top was 300 millilitres okay and um, so that was quite that was uh, quite an interesting thing to do okay and it worked really well so that is how you can you can um, get those that you know measure those capacities without you know having a, a jug um, there ready for you you know making your own so what is the volume of water in each one of these beakers now they are sized so this one these ones are smaller they are sort of slightly to scale not perfectly to scale but they do go in the right range so having a look at this one here we've got it's in millilitres so we're measuring in millilitres and we can see that the top of this scale here or the, sorry the top of the liquid hits the 30 on that scale of millilitres so we know we've got 30 millilitres in that one this one we haven't got anything that goes up halfway or anything like that and we can see from the top of this this liquid line it comes to 80 so that's 80 millilitres and this one we're in between a um, we're on an unmarked interval so what we do is we drop down we know it's millilitres we drop down to the bottom we've got two intervals here until we reach a hundred so if we've got a hundred divided into two divided by two that is 50 
okay so we divide something by two we halve it okay so if we have six divided by two we know that that's three okay so exactly the same 100 or 10 divided by 2 would be 5 100 divided by 2 would be 50 so each one of these unmarked uh, intervals here is 50 so we can count up then 50 100 150 200 250 300 350 400 and 450 which is where our line lies where the top of our liquid uh, lies on that scale so between 400 and 500 that interval is 450 so the same sort of thing in here have a look at that one see if you can before I tell you um, see if you can work out where this is laying what's the volume of water in this beaker at the end Okay, it's between 500 and 600, right in the middle, so it's going to be 550 millilitres. Okay, even though this says litres, we know that all of them, you know, this is one litre, and we know there's a thousand millilitres in here. So if we know, if we know that, then it, and, and one of the questions actually asks us for something that's, that you could measure in litres, it asks us in millilitres, you need to just leave that in millilitres, okay, which is a thousand millilitres, okay. Um, so what's the capacity of the container here? And this container has been poured into these two beakers, it was too much for the 500 or half a litre, okay, so we know it's 500 and we've got another 70 millilitres so we've got to add the two together with this one so we've got 500 add 70 millilitres equals 570 millilitres so the capacity coming back to this question again the capacity of the container is 570 millilitres okay and this one what is the compass the capacity of this container and again it's too much for one beaker it's actually filled three or nearly filled three here so we've got 500 millilitres and another 100 millilitres and then we're coming all the way up to here and we've got 60 millilitres so we can add those together we've got 500 add 100 add 60 millilitres that capacity of the container is 660 millilitres so you're going to be finding the capacity with the help of Squirtle by the looks of it here. He's having fun there, isn't he? And uh, we're going to find the capacity of containers. So you're going to carefully read the unit of measure on the scale, either in millilitres or litres. Obviously, if you've got multi, you know, if you've got lots and lots of litres, then you need to take that into consideration. But that's the maximum on the scales that we've got for um, what we're measuring today. Um, so you're going to check and recognise the value of the intervals. So if there is one that they it's going up in, um, uh, in it, it's an unmarked one. You need to you know adjust that and maybe make it fifty millilitres or five millilitres, okay, depending on what your scale is. Um, you know you can look at those steps and realise actually it's in litres, so those intervals are hundred millilitres, and. 10 uh, if they're a 100 millilitre scale to total then they'll be in tens okay so look at the top of that liquid and then you judge where it meets the scale and then you can record it then you can add up all the measuring beakers and hopefully you'll have the right answer using the correct measurement okay it asks you for the the correct measurement today it's asking you for the answers to be in millilitres so we've got some uh, some rather gorgeous um, drinks here we've got some healthy options too and some not so healthy options um, and one that goes up midway so you can add those up and the second little sheet here is um, you know this one's actually got four this strawberry uh, strawberry milk um, quite a lot in there going on and then the final bit here is your buckets um, you've got two buckets with different amounts in 
and you've um, got to say whether or not which bucket has a greater capacity so this one could be bucket A has a greater capacity or it could be bucket B and uh, whichever one is the, the opposite that has a smaller capacity then you need to read um, put in the answers what they, they actually um, what they measure and then this one is about finding the difference okay um, so judging one against the other and seeing what the difference is okay uh, you've got everything you need with that today and um, don't forget to have a look at that video and if you want to make one and um, a, a, a nice little measuring bottle that might be quite exciting and a bit different for you and um, we're trying to make it a little bit more practical for you as well um, because obviously we can't be you know can't, can't be doing it all together at the moment but um, I hope hope that goes well today all right uh, that's it from me you take care now bye